welcome back to the procrastinarium. My name is Jan, and today we're continuing our let's play of Sans Vod uh, EU4. Yes, that's what we're doing. EU4. Um, in the previous episode, we continued our mission of Kogblok Russia, which is so far successful, and will continue being successful as that will be now colonized and Russia will be officially Kogblok. Um, they won't attack us either way. They do hate us. As they tend to, because they have a Casa's belly. What do you mean they have a Casa's belly? On what? No, they don't. Casa's belly. Oh, holy war. No. That's silly. Uh, our next target should be the Oriot Horde, who are allied with Shan and Tibet. Shan, we have a truce with. Which is a very lovely thing. The Ming hates us because aggressive expansion, apparently. Um, the Oriots, however, don't. And the Oriots don't really have good allies. And I'm guessing the Oriots don't have that much of an army, do they? Come on. The Ottomans have the largest army, of course. And yeah, the Oriots have 14,000 men. We're good. Uh, we're gonna go after the Oriots. We only have one claim over here. Uh, but we can take it and release the Mongol Khanat. Uh, and we'll be able to return a few more cores to the Mongols. Afterwards. Which is the plan. So I'm gonna send this army up into there. And this army into here. And we'll go to war with the uh, Oriots. Because as I said we have a truce with Shan so they won't interfere. God, our people move around slowly. Some religious revolts, the effects of China where has taken hold again, which is great. Everyone's in position. Oh, I forgot to pull the guy back. I'll pull you back. You two will like us anyways because we'll be returning cores to you from Ming. Shan is getting big down here and I don't, th I don't think I agree. Declare a war for that. No one will join us anyways because... Yep. Uh, our smaller allies had to join. They had no choice. Who joined on their side? Tibet. Nothing that could possibly harm us at all. And since Shan is already on the move, we're good as well. They are quite big, though, so they're hard to navigate. We can repay that loan most definitely. Losing a bit of money. Attrition, I guess. Got our armies, yeah. So you don't feel, don't let them know. Well, now they know. I was watching Frozen yesterday. <laughs> I, I first watched the Eurovision Song Contest, which is a regular thing, those of you that are European know what the Eurovision Song Contest is, and it's an obligatory thing to do and comment on Twitter while doing it uh, very, very loudly and very, very obnoxiously, as one does with these things, you know, how it is. Um, so yeah, I watched that. Now we're gonna lose that, because we don't need it. Then we're gonna move you into here, into Stanovoy. Because Russia can't get to it. Attach another siege and send it in there. Attach another siege and send it in there. Just siege everything, basically, is the plan. And it shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. They did manage to... Um, oh no, they haven't managed to beat Shan yet, but they're working on it. Yeah, and I don't have an army close enough to actually send in right now, so... Screw you, Shan! It's not my fault you went to war with them. Or did you attack them in one of your own provinces? Uh, peasants... Lower taxes... I don't want a revolt at the moment. Do not have the money for one. But yeah, Tibet joined this war, that doesn't mean anything. They're useless. Honestly, are useless. That's the problem with Tibet. They're a good distraction if <laughs> you're trying to, um... 
Well, that a good distraction, basically. Send these guys in here. Music, music, music. Uh, yeah, for those of you guys that don't know yet, uh, there's a new series started on the channel uh, yesterday. Technically today when I'm recording, but yesterday for when you're watching this. Um, I, did, I started a... Um, Star Wars The Force Unleashed Let's Play. Uh, and that's all going to be pre-recorded because there's not much that you can do. Um, well, th there's not much input that you guys can give on that. They have forced much. Really? Finished offensive ideas. Oh, we finished economic and... Yeah, we finished with their groups as well. So I'm not surprised. But yeah, um, th it's not that much input you can you guys can give in um, Star Wars. So I'm just going to pre-record that in large chunks. Because it's just going to be easier for me at least. To do that. Uh, send you up there. Yeah, it's just going to be easier for me to do it that way, just to pre-record a bunch of episodes, especially since I've been away a lot lately and will continue being away. Um, I'm also pre-recording five episodes of EU4 today um, for that same reason, because I'm going to be away from... Uh, from Monday onwards, again. Right, so they're going to attack us in Ulang Kwab. And I'm gonna send this reinforcement army in. We should still be able to win, even if they, that army isn't in there, but... We'll just help destroy them much more. Um, yeah, I want this, which is Zilindol, I think. Uh, and I want them to... An all treaties with Tibet. And give us all their money. That's all I want them to do. Maybe transfer trade power? They wouldn't. We lost a battle, it's fine. There we go. It's what we needed. I'm immediately going to release it as a vassal. Um, as the Mongol cannot. Yep. There we go. That was a lovely thing, right? It was a nice, easy war. Honestly, it's what it was. Uh, so you're being retreated to down there. Okay, we'll send everyone down there. Okay, so, um, yeah, uh, a bunch of things became known to us, uh, which is all of Europe, which we now can finally see that England is has taken Brittany and is moving into France. France is quite big. Austria seems to have lost all of their um, territory, mo almost all of their lowland provinces that they gained in the Burgundian succession crisis. Uh, Spain has formed, which is... Uh, Portugal is quite big. Spain and Portugal have been colonizing, I can see that. The two Sicilies exist, which is fun. The Ottomans are gigantic, which is an issue. Mughals are quite big. Kazan. Muscovy is gigantic, as Muscovy tends to be. Sweden and Denmark switched a bunch of provinces. Great attack. Yeah, there's Sweden up there. Bohemia is a weird shape. Poland is a weird shape. Do they have a union? No, they don't. That's interesting. Uh, Austria is over here as well. Europe is just a mess. Just a complete another mess. Algiers is gigantic as well. Which I've never seen to happen before. Europe is an interesting place at the moment. Uh, Spain has somehow been colonizing over here. Tell me, Spain, how? I do not approve of this, but we need to get a um, province next to them, so... Do we have a free colonist? No, we don't. And our colonies aren't doing that well. We're gonna recall and abandon that colony. And we're gonna establish one down here. So that we have a thingy next to the Spanish. I'll transfer, of course, some substantial troops down to um, help out with that colony. Where are you? 3,000 men should be enough. Going to Pyongyang! For the first time in forever, there'll be music, there'll be light. 
fortify that border. Why are you just standing there? Go down here. I told you to go down here. There's a point in you going down there. So that I don't have issues. But yeah, we have the Mongol cannon now. And these two lovely little thingies. Uh, we should probably marry them. There we go. And probably improve relations. As soon as you can. That province can hold you. Province to hold our great armies. None. Uh, actually, you'll be quicker in there, probably. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty good in a bunch of episodes. I'm going away again. Because that's how it goes. Spain is 13, 16, 15. And we're 8, 10, 12. That's 6. That's 6. And 2. Yeah, we're fi far enough behind. Um, to start westernization processes. We should now have Overlord Castles Belly on. Yeah, we have them, the Ming and the Audits. Great. National decisions available. Anti Christian Edict. Prevent any possible undermining of authority that Christianity might cause by issuing an edict to expel all Christian missionaries and demand that all convert to denounce their new faith. What do we get? Missionary strength plus one stability cost modifier plus 5%. Yes, sure, why not? That will actually help our nation out quite a bit. So, we now have a province next to um, a western country, so we can start westernizing. Why can't we start westernizing? Oh, <laughs> because the colony just got demolished. Uh, did they have this as a core? No, yeah, they also it also needs to be a core. So, actually, this province might have been better since that is already a core. They're the tour of the Aztec. Overload of Florida, Regiana, Castilian Cape, and New Granada. Uh, Benaki is protected. Mm, that prawns might have been better. I'm a silly, silly boy! Ah, the armies are finally in the same place. Split you in half. Where are the ships? Keep missing the ships. Here they are. Yeah, our fleet is nowhere near powerful enough to de defeat the Spanish. Does this, does this count as a neighboring co uh, province? Neighboring core province? If it's overseas? I don't know. I think it does. Oh, this isn't actually a core of Spain. So it doesn't matter. So it needs to be this one. Peasant war in Shun have ended. There we go. I guess we'll be informed when we can start Westernization or something. Uh, I'm gonna use this as a naval base from now. Yeah, we can't go to war with Ming again. We don't have the manpower to do it, but um, soon. Soon. The Ming have quite a bit of allies now. Champasak, Khmer, Shan, and Kachar. They just allied everyone against us. So afraid of us, they added, allied everyone. There are some peasants in Shun still. Shun is quite big. Um, they still have a few provinces that they can have, right? Yeah, quite a few. We're gonna need to get those going again. Quite quickly, honestly. New king, a 635! Fabulous. And a 414 heir. And one of our generals died, that's okay. Um, yeah. When we start westernizing, does it take away all my power points, doesn't it? Reduce our stability by 3. Does it take away all our power points? I don't know. Pyongyang is now the one through faith. Fabulous. Doesn't matter, we'll, we'll colonize that one. Ooh, someone's colonizing it. Fernando de la Lieva. Spain is. Oh yeah, Spain has three colonists. I forgot. It's okay. I'll take much of heat out or something. Oh, <laughs> one of the colonies failed. The one that's furthest along. Well, shit. 
I don't know if it takes away all of our monarch points when we westernize, but before we do, I'm gonna save up um, as many uh, admin points as I can so that we can. Uh... Oh, go away. So that we can um, boost our um, stability up to three before we start westernizing, so that it's at zero when we do start westernizing. Because it, it does only take away three of them, right? If I'm not mistaken, it takes. It reduces it by three, yeah. They seem useful. So yeah, this needs to become a core, uh, which will become a core in about in a few years. It's a 300 already. In the meantime, we'll recover manpower and go after Ming a bit more. As we tend to do. And the Oriots, of course. Yeah, we lost a lot of our marriages, didn't we? No, we didn't. We just lost it with the Mongols. Great! That's a colony. Oh, that's a thing. We'll place another colony down here, why not? More chances for them to attack us, I guess. Because we're slightly masochistic and, you know... Spain will never attack us! Right, guys? Spain would never do that. I am afraid of Spain. I've always been afraid of Spain. I'm afraid of Spain in every game, more or less. Well, if I'm play unless I'm playing Spain, Spain, then I'm not afraid at all. I like how Spain is doing things, though, here. Raise base tax. More money. More money to the empire. Uh, I like how Spain is doing this. They're gonna create... These two are gonna be cores. Um... And then they will be able to call to core this. Because they can't. Oh, it is a core. Can we now? Can we now? Can we now do it? Can we now do it? Neighbor that belongs to the Western Tech Group needs a core province adjacent to one of our core provinces. Oh, this needs to be a core. Or this needs to be a core, then. That's gonna take a while. God damn it. Was hoping that wasn't the case. I just want I just want to be westernized. I just want to be big and powerful. Yeah, so we can take this, I guess, before then. At least try to keep up. See they have four idea groups already. That's the mining act. More money. Make a side into a city. Yeah, well, that's... I'm trying to do that. I'll take that mission. It's good enough. A truce has probably expired with someone by now. With the Ming! Taken by Champa. They're not at war with anyone. Their alliances are a bit worrisome, but I think we can take them out. I would have to transfer uh, a set of groups into... um. Wengzhou, so I can immediately attack Huangzhou, and then the other troop can come out from the north. I think that will be an okay strategy. Accept their demands. Yeah, sure, accept their demands. Fine, don't, don't, just don't lose stability, we need that. Are you in a peasant war still? I thought your peasant wars ended. God damn it! Didn't. They did. They recall that one. We learned of Nadongo. Converted another province. Convert them more. Can the reformation strike us? I wish. Yeah, they have peasant wars still. So they won't be of much use. But hopefully they'll be of some use. Uh, let's look at the Ming armies. Ming. We now know Spain, who has less men than we do. France has more men than we do. A lot of people have less men than we do, but we're quite behind on technology, so it hurts. Where is the Ming? Should be somewhere here. 30,000 and only 13,000 manpower. Yeah, I'd call now a good time to attack them. Again. We have Overlord Casas Valley. A bunch of them. We're okay. 
But that's gonna have to be in the next episode, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share it with your friends. And uh, yeah, leave constructive criticism, please. I think we've all discovered by now that I am not the best at this. Um, but until next time, bye bye <laughs>